This is the Pocket Monster Manual. I am Wooly Shambler, here with Animich. Why don't snakes drink coffee? Because it makes them viperactive. No. That first joke was so good, Mitch. What the fuck happened? You ruined it. I don't think it was. <laughs> MD. Hello, it's me, David Bowie again. <laughs> Moogle. Snake eater. And Specs. Major Tom, this is Snake. Super baby method. Super baby method. We're talking about Survivor. The super baby method. All right, we're going to get this out of the way about Survivor now. Survivor can also not learn cut. Yep. But it has big sword for tail. Yes. <laughs> can it learn bite? Yes. Oh, good. At least that's something. I love how smug this fuckhead is. <laughs> yeah. Look at how smug this fuckhead is. Because he won the war. As a kid, I love Zangoose, but as an adult, I love Surviper. <laughs> Childhood is loving Zangoose. Adulthood is loving Surviper. It's realizing Surviper was right the whole time. Something I just noticed about it that I didn't notice before is that it has very similar markings on its face and Tum Tum compared to Zangoose. Yeah, I just noticed that, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I never thought of that. Which, if they are scars, like we talked about in the last episode, it could suggest that they've been cutting each other because they were cut. It straight up says the scars on its body are evidence of vicious battles, so you're right. It's kind of like a caterpillar, looking at it. It counters a Zangoose's dazzling agility with its sword-like tail, which also oozes a horrible poison. Cool. So I guess the red is the poison. This thing has scales in new Pokemon Snap, and it looks really cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh shoot, these two are going to be in Gen 9, because there's a Swiper in it, so. Nice. Sweet. Now they'll just forget to put no, Yeah, in. they'll forget to put Zangoose in. <laughs> Oh, don't speak it in- don't speak this into existence. Surviper must be a real stickler to spend so much time sharpening its tail blade. Speaking of which, the blade is extremely dangerous. Not just because it's sharp, it also oozes a deadly poison. Go with Zengos. Sorry, I don't do that. <laughs> so sassy. <laughs> is- is that what it says when you try and, like- In Mystery Dungeon, it's at a hunt- it's at full health. You can't, um, you can't combine the two of them together because your, your main character can't be Zangus or Survivor, right? You can combine- you don't have to have the main character after you beat the story. Oh, can you? Okay. Like, I, I've never played them to any huge extent. Can you combine them as a team? Oh, absolutely. There's nothing stopping them. Oh, it will let you? Okay. Yeah, of course. That would have been cool if, like, you- well, it'd be difficult if you get a Zangus and a Survivor- Going back to the double battle thing that they fucked up on, double battle these two- but, like, they can have a chance of attacking each other. Yeah, they've got, like, some negative thing. I think that'd be cool, actually, yeah. They, they like... subtly debuff each other sometimes when they're unhappy with each other. No, I, I think Midge is right. Just no, sometimes, yeah, Survivor like... poisons Zangoose, has a chance to, but because of a uh, toxic thing... Immunity. Yeah, because of that, the hidden ability, it buffs it instead. Also, holy fuck, Survivor is gigantic. What the fuck? It's a monster... Whoa, yeah, yeah, watching Pokemon Snap, it is ginormous. You don't really tell because it's all slinked together. I love how Survivor is such an asshole that it goes start shit with Octillery too. Look how fucking big it is! I- uh, That's terrifying! Big boy, big, big boy. How big is Zangoose? Like, like, not that big, right? About 1.4. It's half the size. That's why it keeps- it's lost. Dude. Jesus! I guess that's what makes it an even fight because Zangoose is immune to the poison. Yeah. So Viper's just bigger, that's how they stay even. So Viper needs to know, like, what strength it has against Zingus. It needs to just fucking crush it. Yeah. Does it learn bind? Maybe. I think most of its moves are, like, poison moves, aren't they? Uh, lots of dark, lots of poison. It does not learn bind. It learns earthquake. <laughs> that's because it's not a constricting snake. It learns rap. Oh, it learns rap. Uh, okay. Have you guys ever seen the Pokemon Trainer's Choice video? All right, this is future editing brand. For those listening at home, this video is basically like one of those who's that Pokemon bumpers at the end of like the commercials, but instead of identifying a Pokemon, it's like uh, which one of these Pokemon evolves into Surviper, and the answer they give is Arbok, when clearly the answer is nothing. I remember watching this and going, oh, it's none of them, that's weird, and then they said Arbok, and I just like sat there, <laughs> like what? Maybe that was it, the original intention. You know, like how right. uh, Venonat oh was a meant to evolve into Ekans. <laughs> okay, is it okay if I just have Minch on mute for the rest of this? I think it's fine. Speaking of Arbok, did you know Survivor spelled backwards is 
rep, repivis, repivis. Yeah. <laughs> that famous snake, the repivis. The repivis snake. Oh, lovely. Oh my god, are have you guys read the origin? Uh, yes. Oh, so the, the TLDR is that um, in roadside shows they used to pit uh, specific vipers called habus against mongooses. What the fuck? So it's like a fight pit animal. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's dark. Yeah. Where would these fights take place? Japan, I guess. No. They're, are there mongooses in Japan? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, Habu is a Ryukyuan and oh, Japanese okay. name referring to certain venomous snakes. I like the battle pike is shaped like a Surviper, and I also love the lady in charge of it with a Surviper, Lucy. She is full 100% bad bitch. Wait, who? What game? Uh, in Emerald. Uh, one of the Battle Frontier brains was this girl named Lucy. I'll link her in podcast as well. And her signature Pokemon was Surviper, and she was like in a Surviper's facility. I love her. Whoa. Hello. Very cool. Very cool. Hmm. Why does the shiny look like it's under like an underwater filter? I don't like it. Yeah, a sea snake. Disaster shiny. Yeah, it's it's not it's not a very attractive one. Like if it if the blue tint wasn't there, I think it looks so much better. I don't know, I think it's alright. I like that it changes the colour of the poison and stuff. I mean, as it stands, it's not awful. I just think the weird filter on it, it doesn't do much good. So Jesse got a Surviper. Yeah. What happened to the Arbok again? Uh, so Arbok and Weezing, like, when it, early on in Hoenn, they, like, found coughing and Ekans that were, like, being attacked by some, like, oh, Pokemon Arbok. poacher guy. And so they, like, went to protect them. And then Jesse got Surviper and James got Cacnea. Right, wrong answer, because I'm coming back. The answer to what happened to Jesse's Arbok is it evolved into Surviper. <laughs> oh, duh. <laughs> Where is Bran? He must be dead. That's the only reasonable explanation.